Hey there, welcome to Old Man Runner. Today we're going to compare the Under Armour Hover Phantom SE with the on-running Cloud Nova. When I first got the shoe, I was a little underwhelmed. I tried it on, it looked nice, but uh, I wasn't sure that it'd be good for running in. I really, you know, so it was a while. I went for a walk and then I wanted to prepare for the shoe, but other stuff got in the way, of, got in the way of videoing the shoe. And then I saw Roger Federer at an on announcement and he came out in a pair of shoes, this pair of shoes, and they looked kind of good. And I thought, right, better get that video made. Let's go running. Let's start with the Under Armour Hover Phantom SE. So I've got this pair, I've got this pair, and I've got this pair. Three identical shoes in different colors. 
So I bought these shoes to wear basically to work. Uh, so they're fairly casual, but I could wear to work and run on the treadmill at lunchtime or wear on a flight without having to pack a second pair of shoes that may be, you know, running shoes are garish in color. So I got those and typically I run up to 10K in them uh, and do some light treadmill work. Nothing more strenuous than that, but I do a huge amount of walking in these shoes. And I decided that I would, uh, rather than probably buy a fourth pair, I'll try and see, was there maybe something else out there that I'd go and look at? And I saw these, the On Running Cloud Nova. So today we're gonna test the shoe together and see whether this is a suitable replacement. These are super comfortable, long lasting. I mean, these are, I don't know how many miles I've put into these, but a lot, uh, because I don't wear anything else. Uh, so I only wear running shoes and I wear these for walking, and so every day I'm in a pair of these. I'll say these are ideal for discovering the city limit, your limits, any limits. Well, I think I've discovered the credit card limit on it. Under Armour say, point blank, you've never felt a shoe like this before. It's literally like having your foot wrapped in a pillow. No, it's not. It's not literally like having your foot wrapped in a pillow. It might be like having your foot wrapped in a pillow, but it's not literally. Trust me, I know about this. I bought this shoe online from Under Armour for 140 euro. And there's different prices. Sometimes they're 150, sometimes they're 140, sometimes they're cheaper. Uh, but they're, they're not a massively expensive shoe, but they're not inexpensive either. This, on the other hand, was quite hard to buy. On have some really strange way of doing shoes sometimes. So they announced a limited drop of this limited edition shoe. And you have to give your credit card details and have basically an opportunity to enter into a raffle, and if you were successful, you bought it. Now, I wasn't successful. And uh, so, but I discovered online that there was a couple of stores that they'd had limited release in. So I bought these from 43 Einhalb, which is a store I've never been to in Germany, but the service was fantastic. Now I had to buy a size, half size bigger than I would usually take. So uh, that was a bit not, not ideal, but the service was fantastic and I really enjoyed buying it there. These cost 159 euro and 95 cent plus a little bit of shipping. Um, but they came with this very nice package, which I really did appreciate, which says, uh, Danke, and they say thank you. And it came with a lot of stickers and some pop rocks and some postcards. But the thing I liked most was a little handwritten note from Mike thanking me for purchasing the shoes. So I buy a lot of stuff online, but this is, the best uh, buying experience I've had. This is UK 12, and this is a UK 12 and a half. A bit bigger than I would usually buy, but it was the only size available. On their website, on say this is 269 grams, but in this size, it's 361 grams. On their website, Under Armour say this is 301 grams. The actual weight is 352 grams in this size. The Cloud Nova has a seven millimeter heel drop. The Phantom SE has an 8mm heel drop, so not much in it. When I bought these shoes and started looking at them, I thought they had a fairly similar form factor. So high up around your ankles, uh, and they kind of, at least to me initially, look kind of the same. Um, this one was only available in white number or black, and typically I don't like black shoes much, and I certainly don't like them for showing on, on, on videos because uh, the details don't pick up. Um, whereas, I don't know how many different colors this is available in. I've got three. I'd say I've seen at least 30 different color combinations. Some are great, some not so great. But On Running have announced a few different drops for these. So you sometimes see them in different colors here and there. And there's a video on the On Running site which shows them in a lot of different colors. Uh, but actually I like these colors. This is the Under Armour Phantom Hover SC. And uh, I like the single uh, strip around your ankle. That does, it does get you nice and comfy. So there's no separate tone. Um, I like, I actually like the color of this one particularly, which is why it's the most worn of, of the three that I have. Um, the laces are, are incredibly uh, on grippy. So they nearly always come undone. I, a, a kilometer and they're coming undone. But I've learned to use the reef knot and that has helped. Um, one of the things that I like about this shoe is um, this, this heel uh, forming here is very solid. Like it's, it's, 
it's and, and actually inside it's cushioned so the heel is really nice so it does I mean okay about the pillows but it, it, it does feel pretty nice it does feel snug um, it's got a narrow toe box that some people haven't liked it doesn't seem to bother me even though I have a wide foot um, and then the grip on the bottom has been attached by uh, it's it's been it's it's a thin layer you can kind of see a thin layer um, and that's sandwiched onto the foam which is unlike the on running shoe and in this shoe in this particular shoe and in several of the versions there's a Bluetooth monitor which connects to map my run I haven't tested it uh, but I will and then one of the things that I find unusual in this brown version is the this mark of three sort of little lines here um, that appears on some of the colors but not on others and I'm Still for the life of me, no idea as to why that would be. But it's a comfortable shoe and um, I'll certainly be getting the next version. I've grown to like the looks of this shoe more and more as I've had it a bit longer. Possibly because I saw Roger Federer wearing a pair, but who knows. Um, but in terms of this particular shoe, which is a size 12.5, it's, it's much bigger than some of the ones you see on the website. And the proportions on the website, I think, look better uh, because these... Uh, and the overall form factor of the shoe it shrinks down obviously when they make a bigger one they stretch it out a bit and I think it looks better in a smaller shoe um, the laces I mean it's like cheap twine that used to we used to wrap parcels in when I was growing up it's, it's one of the things that I don't like about the shoe um, but the single worst thing about the shoe in fact the only really bad thing about the shoe is this this um, tongue it it's 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 not that it's sharp. It's not like you're wearing a razor blade or something like that. But it but it it gnaws away at you unless you're wearing long socks, um, and so I find that a bit of a disadvantage in the shoe. The grip isn't great. It's like a lot of on shoes. Uh, this is the same. It's a uh, the Cloud Stratus. Um, but but it's just a series of horizontal grooves uh, with a different material here and here inlaid into most of the foam. Not very grippy, but because these look, these are a white shoe. I'm not going to wear these out in the rain. So I bought the Cloud Nova to see if it could replace the Under Armour Phantom. Would I run it or return it? Well, I read an article in GQ by David Alleman from On Running, and he was saying he'd run up to five miles, but he didn't really sound super confident. So I kind of headed out with low expectations. Um, but golly gee, this thing flew. I couldn't believe it. I went on a slow day and I was going 10 to 20 seconds a kilometer faster than I would in these. And now that's not a fast shoe. And I wasn't rocketing along, but they felt super comfortable underneath. I mean, incredible. So it's super comfortable. It's fast. And hey, it looks kind of stylish. It's a runner. Until the next video, just keep running along.